Hi, in this video I'll talk to you about what I learned at church. I go to the Jehovah's Witnesses on May 4th, 2014. Why God permits wickedness. What I remember is that God has given us free will. And some of us choose to do good things. Others choose to do bad things. And all of us have sinned or committed some bad thing in our lives. If you're young, just uh, you haven't done anything major, eventually you'll do something. You'll tell a lie or something. All right, so vindicate. I wrote that word. I just looked it up now. Vindicate means... And one definition is to set free. To set free. Uh, I remember from my life in going to different churches that the wages of sin is death. Or death is what you beget when you do wrong things. Do you appreciate what God and Jesus have done for you? That's what the question was. If you want to get someone's attention, ask them a question. When you talk to a group of people, that's how they got my attention. Do you, he's talking to, the speaker was talking to everyone, whoever he got my attention. Do you appreciate what God and Jesus have done for you? God gave us oxygen, creator he is the creator of all things that are seen and unseen. And he sent his only begotten son, Jesus. And my notes, Jesus was created first. The first thing of all things created by God was Jesus. So, what did Jesus do? He died for our sins. He took away our sins. All humans were going to, well, we all die physically, but there's a, supposed to be in this religion or in many religions, there's an afterlife. Uh, in this one, there's an afterlife after you get resurrected. And Jesus is the resurrection. So... Jesus died in place and therefore God lets us have another life after this physical life. Jesus paid for our sins since he had no sins. He took all the sins of the world. and washed us clean of our wrongdoing. Thank you, Jesus. If you need help, contact me at Daniel Carone, 1972 at facebook.com.